Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your February 2024 general monthly reading for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. <coughs> Excuse me. To all my returning and new viewers, subscribers, I appreciate you. To everyone who has kept me busy, booked personal reading, thank you guys so much for all of you. Um, that I have read for that came to see me at the last mystic market. I really do appreciate all of you to book a personal reading. The link is in the description box down below. There are a few dates available this month and I'm not quite sure when I'll open some more up if I'll be doing that again at the end of the month or probably by mid March. Okay. Remember guys, give this a thumbs up, like share, comment, and subscribe and double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. The month, this month's reading is going to be a little bit short because I've been under the weather. I have a little bit of a cough. Excuse me. <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cough and a sore throat. And I want to make sure I get through all the readings. So I just decided to make them shorter. It is 555 on my clock at this time. So perhaps that angel number could be of significance to you. The judgment card here is your major arcana. Oh, and if I didn't mention, I'm going to have a bonus love reading mid-month for you guys. Okay, let's get let's get out of this. Okay, let's get to the reading. <laughs> the judgment card is your major arcana for this month. So there is this opportunity to reevaluate certain things that have uh, come back around in your life, Leo. Um, this is making a judgment call. This is reevaluating um, old situations that it could be resurfacing or coming back around with this, whether this is old connections, relationships, um, you know, situations from the past, especially if it involves children or, you know, something from your childhood that comes back around. Um, I'm also hearing, you know, it could be something with your mother or mother figure. So I'm hearing that very strongly. If you, um, if uh, now this is very specific, so it's not for everybody, but I feel like somebody here could be, uh, could like their mother could be having some, um, health or medical issues, uh, that, um, at one point or another had experienced and they've come back around, they've come back around. So I feel like at one point or another, like they suffered from something medical and, you know, made it through the woods, right? Made it okay, but it feels like it's coming back around, whatever this may be. Um, this is not to scare anybody. I feel like you are already kind of dealing with this situation. And so there's this feeling of, there is this feeling of not this again, wanting to, um, you know, help or assist someone really get through the worst part or, you know, whatever this situation may be. Nine of Wands is like, uh, yes, resilient and strong, but definitely exhausted and battle wounded and just trying to garner all the energy to get back up and keep going and keep moving. The Queen of Cups is very much, um, you know, that nurturing energy here, especially when we see it next to the Six of Cups, you know, um, nostalgia, um, sweet you know, energy of really sweet, harmonious love, like family, mother, children, partner, spouse. It just feels like very loving, caring, nurturing. I just keep hearing the word sweet. So um, maybe that is a nickname for you or you to them or sweetie, you know, sweetie pie. Like that is something that they used to say. Now, I, I'm also hearing for some of you, your mother has already passed and if that's coming through for you, I, I'm definitely hearing that. Okay, this is a channel message for someone very, very specific here. Um, Leo, it feels as though as if your mother has already passed. And if she used to call you sweetie or like sweetie pie or things like that, like that was something that, you know, that was like a common term of endearment for her. The message I'm getting is that it was just like the fight was too much. The fight was too much for her. Okay, no, I'm not predicting this for someone. This is someone who has already passed, okay? So before you get scared that you're, you know, anyway. But I do feel like she feels very much calm and at peace. I feel like she definitely wants you to know that everything's going to be okay, okay? Um, I, I'm hearing for someone here may have left you um, juggling some very tough financial issues here where you're just not quite sure 
how you're going to get out of a difficult financial situation, trying to um, make things work financially. Um, so I'm going to pull cards on that. I, I'm going to I'm going to continue with this message, but I will move away from it afterwards because it's very specific. It's not going to be for everyone. But the recommendation here is, um, yeah, take swift forward action. If you need to get an advocate, if you need to uh, fight certain um, financial situations like charges and things of that nature, um, I feel like there could be some sort of like... Uh, I'm hearing financial greed, okay? Yeah, five of cups. I feel like they're saying, I'm so sorry I left you with this. I should have been better prepared because now you're like left picking up all the pieces and not quite sure what to do with things, especially on a financial matter. And so it just feels like... Um, You really feel like you're kind of lost as to what the next step should be, what to do, what not to do. Eight of Swords, yeah, the High Priestess, Ten of Wands, very stressed out energy. If you haven't already broken down, I feel like you're on the verge of a breakdown here, Leo. I definitely feel like you're completely stressed out, still working through the emotions, still trying to um, figure out what your next step is, what your next step should be. Um, okay. One card for advice and then we'll move on from this page of wands. Uh, page of wands is like that, is that news, that opportunity of news and opportunity of something new coming in. However, I'm hearing that you've got to be the one to not just not just wait for that opportunity to come to you. You've really got to start making calls. You really st got to start moving towards certain things. And I know it's difficult, especially in the time of mourning or when you're still like having fully processed everything and now you're feeling super overwhelmed. But it just, it's like, listen, things are going to work out, but you cannot just sit and wait for this to continue to pile up, whether it's bills, finances, um, you know, things that have been overdue for quite some time and now you're again you feel like you you feel guilty if you don't handle this you feel guilty if you're not if you're not grieving you feel like there's just a lot of mixed up emotions and I'm definitely hearing that you can seek out the help of like maybe an advocate an attorney a social worker somebody that can help you with this because it is a huge burden to carry all by yourself I feel like if you have siblings or other people that should be helping you, I don't feel that they are. Yeah. Nine of Swords. I'm sorry that you're going through that, Leo. <clears throat> At the end of the day, they are trying to reassure you that everything's going to be okay, that they are in a better place. They're no longer suffering. They are healing. However, they know... They know that this is a difficult situation for you and that it wasn't fair for you to take on that burden. For you to try to, you know, figure things out on your own this way. Know that they are with you as you try to sort this out. If you're questioning, like, yourself about whether or not they are around you, yes, they are. You can speak to them out loud. Ask them for a sign. Okay, I'm going to move away from this energy as I know this is not like an energy that everyone can relate to. But if this is for you, I send you lots of love and healing. Okay. Now, I'm going to move these cards aside here. <clears throat> so this judgment card that's here. With the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, I do feel like, the, again, this is an opportunity for you to make a decision. If you have been thinking of weighing out certain options or what to do next, especially when it comes to finances, on a new job, a new promotion, whatever this may be for you, um, I feel like there is someone here who has felt like they haven't had enough financial stability or like 
steady work in quite some time. And I feel like you're kind of um, playing with certain things, right? Like your hands in the clay type energy where you're just trying to figure out, okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. Let's see what works. What works? The death card, ace of cups. And the tower, look at that. Very strong Scorpio energy here. Remember, Scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth. This is, you know, Scorpio is a sign that can easily transmute and transform themselves and reinvent themselves. The death and the tower card. Holy cow. This is like massive and major shifts. This is like feeling like your whole world has gone crumbling down and that you know that you need to rebuild. However, you also know you're not going to rebuild in a way where you would have in the past. And just like, I'm hearing like in an emergency, like you just like at that moment, you had to settle for what was good, what was available. Like, that's it. This is all I have. This is what I've got to work with. I guess this is it for me. Like you're, you're, I feel like you're now in a position to kind of take your time with really reassessing what you truly love, need, desire. I'm also feeling that for some of you, you're chasing certain dreams where you really want to make them a reality. And you're no longer afraid to do what you love when it comes to business career. Doing something that you love. A hobby turned passion business, you know, side hustle. Ends up being very successful. However, certain things had to fall apart in order for you to really, really rebuild and come to a whole new assessment for what's next for you. So what's next for Leo before we move on to the wisdom of the Oracle? What's next for Leo? Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Leo, best possible outcome. I mean, what's next for Leo? A passionate new beginning. Creativity. Feeling fired up for something that makes you absolutely happy. Best possible outcome for you. I absolutely love, love, love this for you. If you have been going through some rough times, rough patches, if you've been picking up the pieces after a loss, after a breakup, a separation, whether this was in love or business, right? Losing your job, trying to figure out what to do next, maybe doing something on the side just to bring a little bit of extra income while you look for a real job, right? I really feel that you're going to see success in all avenues and endeavors in your life. This is very, very beautiful energy for you, Leo. And it really warms my heart. It makes me happy to see that for you, especially if you've had like to deal with like with some major responsibilities in your life where you have felt like maybe you didn't have as much support as you had hoped or wished. And if you do have children, you're just like, I've got to keep them in mind, right? And so spirit is saying, Leo, slow your roll. Take a moment right now. Card number 29, master number 11. Take a moment to breathe, to pause. Deep, deep breath in, hold it and exhale. Exhale through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. On those moments where you feel super duper overwhelmed, pause and literally do that three to five times. I'm telling you, it stops that feeling of overwhelming, you know, like feelings of, of feeling completely overwhelmed and stressed out. It stops it and allows you to just safely calm your nervous system to reassess the situation from a much clearer perspective because you have literally put a pause button in the stress in the anguish that you've been feeling it is okay to take a breather it is okay to pause it is okay to take a break to stop smell the roses breathe take a freaking nap enjoy a meal like a sit-down meal at a restaurant and not on the go 
I feel like some of you are just have been all over the place and have just been on the go like that. I am sending you guys so much love, Leo. Seriously, my sincere and heartfelt sympathies for those of you that have lost someone. But I am sending you so much love and support. And know that I'm here for you if you'd like a personal reading or some Reiki energy clearing. The links are in the description box down below. Currently, I have Zoom readings available for one-on-ones. Uh, I will be opening up recorded readings as well. So have a wonderful rest of your month. Your bonus mid-month love reading is coming up next. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap the bell to get notified of the next readings and all the readings that come your way. Your playlist is here. Whatever other reading I have for you is there. And I will see you guys soon. Lots of love, guys. Bye.